guys what is going on I thought today for vlog number 45 I thought I would show you guys what a bit of a bit of behind the scenes action Whew, the reason why I'm breathing heavy is because I've just whipped out another four rugby tutorial videos just then in the last hour or so um, I've got my drone in the car I'm actually just about to go and pick that up right now take it back out and uh, get the final shots. Today we've done how to do a sidestep, we've done how to do an ankle tap, we've done how to do a chip kick and I've shown you guys how to hold the ball in two hands and also something else too so I think we've done five videos but uh, just before I go this is Anzac Oval this is where this is where I do my rugby tutorial videos and where I play rugby and this spot right Right over there, on that seat, is where this camera is set up. So, I'll come in here, I'll come in this gate right here, I'll walk around here, I'll have the whole place to myself, I'll go all the way over there, try and find some shade, and uh, set up the camera. And that's what we did today, so I'm about to, like I said, go and get the drone. But I just wanted to show you guys down here, you know, this is, this is where it all happens. You may see these rugby videos and think that they just happen like that. Well, they don't. I want to help you guys. I want to make you happy. So that's why I'm down here. Now, if you have any specific rugby related video topics that you want me to cover, write them in the comment section below. Okay, right now, this is your opportunity to do it and I will address it. If I don't know the answer, I'll tell you. But if I do, or I think I can help you guys with the answer, I will. Okay, so now's your opportunity. I'm down playing touch again now which is fantastic I'm getting my step back I'm getting my pace I'm getting my 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 lust for the game back uh, I'm not over my career's not done man my career is not fucking done I ain't done I'm only 27 I keep telling myself and am, am I done I keep asking myself am I done am I finished I'm not fucking done Nick minute Chuck these back on. Alright, we're back with the drone and the ball. And we're gonna have some fun. So let's get this thing out and up in the sky. All right, so about six months ago, I had, a, I had a little light bulb moment. I thought, why not bring the drone down to the field, put it on autopilot, do my talking part like I did over there, talk to the camera, explain it all, the fundamentals, do a little example, and then at the end of the video, put the drone up in the air and have some epic shots of me actually performing what I'm talking about from an aerial view. And to be honest, I think that really, really changed the game. It, uh, it made the videos look a whole lot more professional and honestly I, I was really impressed with how it came out. So once again, we're going to do that today. I've done the talking part, I've come and got the drone, we're going to put it up in the air, have it spinning around me going really, really slow. I think it goes about one meter per second, slowly, slowly, slowly going around in a circle. Um, you just put it on point of interest set the point of interest, set it up five meters at least, and then give it a radius from that point, and then it'll do a circumference around you at a certain speed, which is, the, I think the slowest is one meter per second. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's connect the phone.
So, <laughs> Inception. Where is it? This is about as, as close to Inception as you're gonna get. Um, yeah, that's how it happens, man. So honestly, I'm gonna come right to the center of this field. I'm gonna put it up five meters in the air. I'd love it to be a bit lower, but unfortunately the minimum with point of interest is five meters in the air. So it's gonna be five meters above the ground and it's just gonna circle around me slowly. So let's, let's see how it goes.